their last one in 1966. The perception was that there was talent in Galway. Mayo was a team from Connacht who was going to win in All Ireland by virtue of being there in 96 and 97. There was a real buzz of expectation. We believed we were going to win. So it doesn't really matter what the press are saying, it doesn't matter what the bookies are saying, we had a huge belief in that squad. But a lot of the leadership came from within the white lines and within the dressing room. And all that final takes on a life of its own. And we have now gone 10 minutes without a goal, we're scored and they open so brilliantly. There was still a strong belief that if we played to our capabilities we could take them down. And one guy who deserves a lot of credit I suppose in that second half is, is Ja Fallon. He was on their captain Glen Ryan and Ja had an amazing second half. He just kicked some absolute screamers. He scored a point from the sideline. When you see that kind of stuff happen, belief just courses into a team. Once Jazz started kicking those points, and then uh, PJ got a sensational goal with a thick hand pass in by Michael Donnelly. Once PG got that goal, there was a feeling, even looking around, this is going to be our day. And Kildare was so confident, I suppose, it was tough for them to take that hammer blow. And once, once we got into a groove, it was going to be tough for them to stop. Now, Finn got a few scores, the prayer got one. And we could have actually won by more, I think. The celebrations were phenomenal. It was back in the day when people could come on the pitch. looking down on a sea of Gower supporters with people around you that meant so much to you was fantastic. There's a sense of satisfaction, there's a sense of completion of the journey, there's a sense of relief as well obviously. Hopefully on the big days in 2017 we'll get guys that step up and deliver match winning performances. There's nothing to say that in the next 12 months Gower hurlers and Gower footballers couldn't be knocking on the door of All-Ireland success and hopefully that's what we're going to be looking at in the season ahead.